This demo will showcase our Salesforce to Database Account Bidirectional Sync Template. Bidirectional Sync is the act of uniting two or more datasets in two or more different systems to behave as one system that recognizes the existence of different datasets. This type of integration is useful when optimizing organizational processes, reducing the compound cost of manually addressing inconsistencies, aligning to reality data representations in different systems, and many more. In this video, I will show you an example of an organization that utilizes this template to synchronize its accounts between a Salesforce instance and a database in real time. Right now, let's see how it works inside of two different systems. Here, inside of our Salesforce, we can see an account named Amtrak. Let's go ahead and change the number of employees for that account from 19,000 to 20,000. Then, when we go to our database and refresh the table, we can see that the number of employees for that account was updated to 20,000 as well. And if we take the same account and change the number of employees back to 19,000 in our database, this will be reflected in our Salesforce instance accordingly. Now, let's take an edge communication account and change the industry from electronics to communication. When we go back to our database, we can see that the industry information was updated as well. Similarly, if we change the industry for the same account in our database, it will be updated accordingly in our Salesforce instance. Now, let's move from the user experience to AnyPoint Studio, our graphical design environment for the AnyPoint platform, and see what's powering this integration. Here, we see our template, which leverages best practices for integration with Salesforce and makes this integration possible in minutes. This template's already been downloaded from our library, where all of our templates can be found. As we look at the endpoints file, we can see two flows that pull accounts from both a Salesforce instance and a database. To ensure integrity, in both flows, we have an expression component that uses a lock to only allow one-way synchronization at a time. Then, when we go to the business logic file, we can see two flows. In the first, data flows from Salesforce to a database, and in the second, it flows in an opposite direction. Both flows use a batch module to make the act of moving a large set of data easier and more transparent. When we look at the first flow, we will find a database connector that queries accounts from our database, matching them with each record retrieved from Salesforce by name. Then, we use Data Mapper to transform the account data to match with the database data structure. Next, we update all existing records that were found in our database, or create new ones for those that were not. The last step that we do, we release the lock so the second flow can be triggered. When we look at the second flow, the main difference we will see is that here we were able to use an upsert operation due to Salesforce API configurations. And at the end of the flow, we will find the same lock that is released each time when the data flow is processed. Now that we know what stands behind this integration, everything we have to do to make it work is to list our Salesforce and database credentials in the properties file and run the application. Today, we've shown you our Salesforce and database account bidirectional sync template and synchronized accounts between two different systems. To find out more about the template, follow the View Documentation link on the template's detail page. Give the template a try, and if you have any questions or feedback, please send it to info at mulesoft.com. Thank you.